which was part of that, but I might be wrong. But I, it's just like such a common character in Diddy that I think, you know, Lucina's so good and so like, uh, kind of like fundamentally strong, like no clear weakness, that even with a bad matchup, it's never gonna be unwinnable. Like it's never gonna be unsurmountable. And here we see, I think Treasure's trying to gauge Como, like uh, Como, um, how Slingshot's gonna approach um, the situation. This is why for the few, first few seconds of the fight, he started just simply moving around the stage, seeing what uh, Slingshot will do. And Slingshot seems to first, what he does is use that banana that we, that just is a Sortie's worst nightmare. But that was a beautiful, clean first stock by Stretch. Yeah, what a what a way to start a set, you know? Like that's just like showing that you have no fear of this monkey, which is a statement, you know? Because if the Diddy doesn't feel confident, then they're gonna be like way more scared to throw out the bananas and be way like have have way less of a read on when they're gonna have openings. I think uh, Sinjo is being very smart here, where they're they're simply waiting and seeing um, Slingshot's movements and their and his habits. I think that's what he's been doing. So now he's able to use it to his advantage. And he's doing a very good job of avoiding that banana, shooting or peering it every time, or just simply staying away. And right there, trying to get the classic Z-drop banana into Dare, mm -hmm. but... Oh, that not closing it out was pretty big, because this would be an opportunity for Stretch to tack on 1% before losing this, so... We're gonna have to see, it. really, if you're a Slingshot right now, you're gonna want to get an opportunity to pull Banana and get that kill confirmed. But it seems Stretch is kind of playing aggressively because they know that Slingshot wants that, and Slingshot knowing Stretch is gonna play aggressively, <laughs> put that bear out. Look at that. I hear Slingshot coming with the combos. I'm trying to say it's set some kind of dominance over this uh, matchup. I think he's trying to make sure that Lucina is able to stay off the stage. Because that's, that's kind of like we're her home. She's good on stage. Now Lucina with the banana in hand. It's actually, yeah, that, that's pretty strong. Um, if you can use it right, I mean, you can get a kill confirmed um, with that super easily. Ooh, and look at that. That was the greed of a Diddy Kong player right there. You had a free punish, but instead you went to pick up your banana. Uh, the banana's important. Yeah, it hypnotizes the... That's gonna be a dead monkey though, and this is solid lead, you know. Um, especially with banana in hand, how is uh, Slingshot gonna get a really nice combo starter to potentially take the stock? And he was going for a minute trying to see uh, string, uh, string cheese. Hello, <laughs> Slingshot's movements. I like string cheese though as a tag. Is good, if anyone yeah. needs a tag. And that a monkey flip is pretty punishable off stage. Stretch dropping it there, but definitely something you cannot throw out lightly against mm -hmm. your sword. Even though they're both at one stock, Sling is still at 80%, and Lucina can easily just take that. Yeah, especially I feel like Sling is playing really like mm -hmm. button heavy right now. Just kind of not really ever having a moment to stop and like pause, kind of just pressing a lot of every button they can, and it's working. So, you know what? Po more power to them, but let's see if Stretch can catch on to that and punish them. Let's see if we got Banana on the floor, see. Yeah, Stretch does an amazing do job at just avoiding that Banana and... Oh, yep. Just barely killing right there. Mm-hmm. You'll never defeat me! I like listening to Lucina's voice when she like does a little victory. You'll never <laughs> defeat me. You'll never, you'll never defeat me. Like okay. <laughs> it would be kind of funny if Slingshot won the next game after Lucina and then, said that. It's yeah. like oh no. It really shut her up. But um, uh, Stretch seemed to like never really be scared the entire set. I feel like he was really confident in his mm -hmm. game plan, and he never once felt like oh I gotta switch things up. He, mm -hmm. he really stayed like kind of really true to just. Honestly, a bunch of whiff punishes on Slingshot. And so Slingshot's gonna, I think, needs, needs to hold back a bit. I mean, play a bit more reserved. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he needs to be approaching as often as he, as he typically does. Because what, 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 Str what Stretch did was just simply wait out um, Sling and see his habits and exploit them. That's all he really did. And it worked out in his favor so well. And he's able to get the banana away from Diddy, which is Diddy's like, holy girl. Like, oh my god, I need my bana like, the banana. Look at them panic without it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and good falling up it right there. Every Sorty's favorite combo starter. Let's see. 
it looks like... Okay, I, I don't know why it doesn't go down and it's SD. But anyway, so uh, it looks like Sling is very confident with like the platform and trying to really get Lucina either in the air or um, or on those platforms. Oh, good oh. Uh, good punish right there on that air dodge. Um, now, this is finally the first time we see Slingshot with a lead, and we're going to see how he uh, plays with one, because that could be so huge in determining like how this game goes. Maybe he's really strong with a lead, and this could be... Never mind. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that guy, that guy uh, not like neutral. Trish has just great reaction time when it comes to um, like trying to get his opponent. Because on the ledge over there a few like seconds ago, it just he was missed. But oh, you're over here. I'll get you right over here. And it's, it, it's, 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 it's show, it really differentiates like a like a casual player to like someone who just knows what they're doing in like a certain matchup and who, someone who knows their matchup or just simply can anticipate the movement of their uh, opponent so like it's just it's magic yeah and you know it's also magic Ooh, mixing up diddy's ledge trapping that's pretty impressive we've seen slingshot get it, two kills with that now mm -hmm. where he pulls the banana out everyone their mom thinks oh diddy's gonna grab the banana mm -hmm. and then look at that he just runs off bears that's a really clean mix-up and i honestly want to see more of that because i feel like he has been really banana centric so i'd love to see how he can use the banana as a tool for baiting stretch instead of just a tool for like item play Ooh. Uh, and he tried getting the banana. Yeah, monkey wants to grab the banana. Monkey want banana. Monkey get killed for it. I really think that he should stay to that what the plan you were saying earlier. Because it's got him two stocks. Yeah, it's definitely like mm -hmm. um, a bit of like a meta thing where like it's like it starts from first you want to get the banana, but now you everyone knows you want to get the banana and you use so that. So everyone advantage. reacts the yeah. same way. You mm -hmm. want to avoid like with the banana. But Stretch managing to even this up a bit, this could be really bad because I feel like Stretch has been able to extend his like combos way more than Slingshot has. Mm -hmm. So if he can get like one more opening, I could see this game falling away from Slingshot. Ooh, but coming back aggressive, I kind of like that one. So I'm trying to figure out what maybe Stretch is trying, trying to do. Oh, oh. that's unfortunate. <laughs> I that, think that would have killed too. Yeah, it would have killed, definitely. Okay, but oh yeah, oh, and that's gonna kill. Wow, Slingshot's got to be feeling lucky right now. He's, he's got to really be good. feeling like some something above really wanted him to win that game because mm -hmm. that's really unfortunate if you're stretch. Uh, you gotta just shake it off though. Really, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, oh. right. It's right here. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, this the the win. Uh, slingshot one down to up smash. Yeah. Classic stuff. But yeah, that's really unfortunate for stretch. You had. A read with that up smash and it fell out due to whatever reason so you're gonna have to be able to do your best to shake that off and kind of think about what was working last game you know don't let it get in your head just know that you had a spot where you literally had the win and then so just try wrap with that yeah and i like this stage switch up a little bit less space giving slingshot like way less time to pull banana out you know because we saw how much he loves to pull it so with small battlefield, he's gonna have way less opportunities, and but potentially still gonna be going for it and get punished for it. Yeah, I think this is actually way better for stretch, so because the third platform is just, is just not there anymore. So it's it's more room for stretch in a way, but it's less room for a sling, which is a little weird. But it, it makes sense the way you put it with the uh, needing the, that banana come out. You're, you have less opportunity to do so. You have less space. Yeah, you, you have less surface area to do so. That means said, slingshots but... ledge play has been really good mm -hmm. in having the banana sit there and throw out an aerial, and that was a perfect punish. 60% only, that's not too much. Lucina doesn't really cheese too often. So, oh, unless you just... <laughs> but trying to get the only Lucina cheese. But um, yeah, so you're gonna have to like just get a bunch of honest reads in a row to take the stock. But maybe this banana can help. You're gonna throw it off instead. And we see Slingshot playing, using the banana, like we were saying, as more of a bait. He, he tossed it out, then he did a yeah. rising aggressive monkey flip to catch Stretch trying to jump. But catching that monkey flip, only 36%, that's pretty good, all things considered, when, when um, yeah, you both, 60. Both players had a little, the little shining rounds. You know, first round, or first match was Stretch's shining rounds. Last match, like the second, was uh, Slings. 
right now, I really... Both players are really even right now. Now that they kind of know how each, that how they play off each other and how the other person has their own habits and what they would like to do and where they like to stay on the stage. And both players trying to get to their advantage. I think Sling was Sling is able to at least um, like learn the advantage and learn what's working mid round, which we saw last last game. I feel like who takes this stock, oh, mm -hmm. which almost was slingshot right there, is going to be so important for the momentum of the rest of the game because if you just get the stock lead, you're going to be able to get so much nice percent before yep. losing that uh, game to the final stock situation. He really could have... I mean, he, he did it now, but he could have punished uh, Stretch earlier, but he had to go to go get the banana. Yeah, but it, Stretch has been getting punished for these upbees. Mm -hmm. I don't think a single one's landed, and he's been throwing them out. I feel like that's like a sign of anxiousness coming yeah. out. He wants to close it. He's feeling like a bit of pressure to make something happen, and Slingshot's just holding shield, honestly. Just staying in shield, shielding with the banana, and this is now looking like it might run away with Slingshot. I think the problem also with other players, uh, that would be it, yep. I think a lot of problem with other players who don't typically play Diddy is that they don't know when to use the banana. Like, Diddy mains always has need a banana. They know exactly when to put it, where to put it, X, Y, Z. People who don't play Diddy, but they suddenly have the banana, it's like, oh my god, what, what do I do with this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you just hope that you throw it and like they slip on it. But Diddy mains, like, they place it here. They try to get you down when you're trying to recover. Like, they do all these different things with the banana that you just... One thing um, that I didn't see Stretch do, but I know some players do, is they like to throw it in the air really high mm -hmm. so that it's active for a long time and means that while it's in the air, Diddy can't pull it out, so it's just kind of off play for a bit, you know? Like, no one can use it. Um, so that that's something interesting. But we're going to be seeing now Noku versus Zane coming up next. Um, this is going to be really good, too. These are two... Zane.